What is going on everyone? Welcome to another episode of Pop Tarts and Pints. We are back with some Ben and Jerry's. This is peanut butter cup flavored. I am an absolute huge fan of chocolate and peanut butter. The combination they got going on there. I'm a big fan of Reese's or Reese's, however you want to say it. And it's, it's surprising because I've actually never had this flavor before. I've had most combinations of Ben & Jerry's, anything that has a combination of chocolate and peanut butter or some variation between. So I'm very excited to try this one today. Please let me know in the comments, have you ever had this one before? Oh, this is not new. I'm hoping this is actually a staple flavor because I think why not have some peanut butter cups in here? So let's dive on in, shall we? Only took like two seconds. I'm getting the hang of it here. So right off the bat, this is what we are working with. As you can see, it's pretty rock solid. I probably should have waited a little longer. Oh, and as always, the macros for the cereal will be right here. It is 1,400 calories a pint. This whole thing is 100 grams of fat. It's unreal. So I don't even know what's in this. Like usually I read off the ingredients, but Obviously this is some sort of peanut butter ice cream, so it says there's peanut butter ice cream with peanut butter cups. As basic as, it, as, basic as you can get it. And I'm even surprised that Ben & Jerry's is doing something like this because usually they throw the whole kitchen sink in there. And as you guys know by my mouthfeel category, that's what I love about Ben & Jerry's. They give you the, they, they go the extra mile. And what you can see here, I'm doing a little excavating, a little digging, so we can end up seeing the peanut butter cups in there. But these are full, big peanut, peanut butter cups. These are Gazinta peanut butter cups. If you don't know what that means, look it up. Look how big that is. Now this might sound a little stupid, but the only brand of peanut butter cups I can think of are, as I said, Reese's or Reese's, however you want to call it. And it doesn't say that these are Reese's peanut butter cups. Um, I don't suspect it's impossible to get peanut butter cups or make peanut butter cups that aren't Reese's. But I always think it's interesting because peanut butter cups, when you think about peanut butter cups, I think if you played a word association game, the first thing you would think about would be Reese's. If someone said, peanut butter cups, Reese's, Reese's peanut butter cups. So it's funny how like they kind of have that associated in your mind is that you think of peanut butter cups, you immediately think of Reese's. And if they're not Reese's brand, then where are they coming from? But. I'm not gonna question it, this is delightful. And what's great about this is that it's taking me like forever to get through any of the bites because the peanut butter cups are so dense and there's so much flavor in each bite that you really don't need a lot. And for someone who has a huge sweet tooth like me, I know I would definitely wanna take down this entire pint, but there's so much peanut butter and so much flavor, so much sugar, 1400 calories worth in each bite. This is gonna take you quite a while to eat. So I really like that Ben & Jerry's didn't try to go overboard with this ice cream. It was nice and simple. It was peanut butter ice cream and peanut butter cups and that was it. They didn't need anything else. So for flavor, I'm obviously very biased because I am a huge chocolate fan, a huge peanut butter fan. It goes without saying if you're not a peanut butter person, probably don't go for this ice cream. But for the flavor, I'm going to give this a 9.6. One of the highest scores I've given so far. I love peanut butter, I love chocolate. It's a 9.6 on flavor. For mouthfeel, do you know what they could have done? And I even feel bad suggesting it because to me, Ben & Jerry's is the goat. Is that even if they did a little bit of chocolate shavings for a little bit more of a crunch, I think that'd have been great because, because in each bite, you kind of have to decide. Do you want to go this spoonful with ice cream? Or do you want to just go a whole spoonful of just um, of a peanut butter cup. Now it's up to you and I think I, I mean I know that I absolutely love this ice cream. This is really, really good. Um, but it'd be nice if with the ice cream you could also have a little bit of the um, chocolate shavings. So for mouthfeel, I'm gonna give it a 9.2. For creativity, I love that they made it nice and simple. So for creativity, I'm gonna give it a 9.1. This was all they needed to do. Maybe even more would've been overkill. As far as packaging, I think packaging's pretty good. I want you guys to give it maybe like an 8.8. .8. Not thrilling, but nice. And value, um, it is 1400 calories, but I do not want to eat this entire thing because 
this is extremely uh, sugary. So for value, I think I'm gonna give it an 8.9. Um, you know, Ben and Jerry's can be a little bit pricey, but I think the flavor is absolutely delightful. I love the abundance, the plethora, the just the, the sheer amount of uh, peanut butter cups you have in here. And I don't know if I got all of the categories right, but whatever it is, the score will be right here. And as always, guys, thank you for watching. And if you liked, please drop a like and subscribe uh, for more sweet treats. And I hope you are happy and well and healthy. And as always, I hope this was an opportunity for you to turn your brain off, because this was certainly an opportunity for me to turn my stomach on. And I, happy, I hope you are happy and safe and healthy. Definitely give this ice cream a try, and I will see you next time.